you see you see the mess really the, the, they're gonna back down or try to back up their error they're st stupid 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 post <sighs> let's get to it I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low Purple rim, 7-7 seven, seven, cutty Okay I'm trying, I'm trying to make this video not as long But PFF I think they, I know they're trolling But it comes to a point or you got to be like, okay, y'all, let's be real. Let's be real. We fluffed up. Fluffed up. I told you I don't curse. But that fluff is in all caps. Cause these ninjas over here, they don't know what they're doing. Okay, on <clears throat> June 16th. 2021 they put out we forget how good Lamar Jackson was in 2019 unanimous MVP TD passing leader or leader <clears throat> most rushing yards for QB ever in NFL history 2019 so 2020, you really can't beat that 2019 type of stats. Like, that was historic record books. I don't know no quarterback. I can go back and look at the other unanimous MVP, Tom Brady, year when he got that, and see the year after that or the year after that. That's like... Once in a lifetime for him. But Lamar, I say the rushing, that's that could be one in a lifetime. Unanimous MVP, we don't know. I believe he was only 23 years old when that happened. The passing TD record. Last year, the year before, he pretty much still had the same squad. Pretty much. But then you look at 2020, same squad here and there. But he couldn't. It was, I think we was lead, did we lead the league in most drop passes? Well, Lamar, I think I think I think we did. I think it was an average of a lot of drop passes. I can't remember the average. But it's like PFF, come on. You didn't even put him in your top 50 list. But you tweet that out on June, what was that again? June 26th, 16th? No, June 16th. Okay, then you come out on June 29th, which is today's date. And you have top 10 quarterbacks. I'm gonna I'm put it, I'm put it up right here. <clears throat> Top 10 NFL quarterbacks. Number one, Patrick Mahomes. Cool. Number two, Tom Brady. Number three, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, Dak Prescott. And I'm like, okay, okay. All of those guys has weapons. So I'm like, cool. You know what I'm saying? But Lamar, we're going to see what he has this year with the, with the addition of... <clears throat> New wide receiver coaches, uh, new passing coordinator, Bateman, Wallace, uh, Sammy, uh, Dev steps up, gets more chances. Prochet gets more chances. J.K. Dobbins, the leading receipt. We leading uh, running back with Gus the Bus. They're all going to be catching it from the backfield. It's going to be ridiculous. So I can't wait to see them.
what they say then. But, okay, so then number seven, you have Matt Ryan. Number eight, you have Kirk Cousins. Number nine, Baker Mayfield. And then number 10, Lamar Jackson. He can be in your top 10 quarterbacks, but you can't put him in the top 50. Then on top of that, 10? 10? 10? So it's Matt Ryan, Kirk Cousins, Baker Mayfield, Pat Prescott. <clears throat> All those dudes has weapons. But Lamar, I guess because he doesn't pass for a lot of yards, but he's one of the quarterbacks that continually gets better and made it to the playoffs each year. And really on that whole list, he's the only one that can run like he can and he can throw that thing too, which they will let him do a lot more this year. In all honesty, I will place him I'll place him at number six, right behind Josh Allen. If we're going off of last year, because Dak Prescott was injured, Matt Ryan, Kirk Cousins, and then I'll put Baker at number seven. That's just me being real. And we know what Mahomes got. We know what Baker got. We know what Aaron Rodgers got. We know what Russell Wilson got. We know what Josh Allen has. Then I will put Lamar. Then I will put Baker. Then who? Then whoever else you want after that. That would be my list. Just to be real. <clears throat> but y'all tell me what y'all think. This is uh, just there's. Just their stupidity. It's just, cause I seen it when they try to back it up that top fifty. But I was like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lash out. I, I didn't want to make no video of me going all in. Usa, Usa. I try to, you know what I'm saying. I try to keep it going. Try to keep my positivity going, but stupid things like that. And they continually disrespect this man. Unanimous MVP. Only two in NFL history. It's like they don't, he can sit there and do everything perfect. But they will find something just to complain about. When he wins a Super Bowl, you know what we gonna hear? Can he win another one? He wins another one. Can he win another one? It's 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 always gonna be something, and I think Lamar already knows that. But he it don't let him face because he continues to grind. So that's what I like about Lamar. But PFF, you continually making yourself look dumb. Let's just troll the Ravens flock, disrespect Lamar. That will give us some clicks. That will put our name out there. I even seen Matt Ryan trending because of PFF list. <clears throat> just doesn't make sense. If y'all 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 have a a platform, a respectable platform to some analyst, but. You're making yourself look even more stupid. Dum Dum Diddy. <laughs>